Look at this strange growth on the jalapeno right there, behind the first one. I'll show you something in a second. Now, this jalapeno right here I'm going to be with. Well, these are basically from this plant. The seeds of one of the jalapenos from a couple months earlier in the season. Basically, that's what I did. <clears throat> and I got more jalapenos now. Yeah. I could have cloned it and used some cinnamon, you know. It's a natural method, technique to clone plants. Just use some powdered cinnamon, you know. Uh, what you would do is snip this off since it's at the bottom all the roots and hormones are at the bottom of the plant and what you want to do is snip a good size like that but I'm not going to do it but I could <clears throat> but I know this and I've tried it on a plant that I know works so this one could be experimented with but I don't want to do that it's just a very healthy jalapeno plant that's beautiful. Yep. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jalapenos on it. I'm gonna plant these. And they're gonna be just like this sometime. I don't know when. But I could back to this I would cut this right here at the bottom the razor blade and dip this in a bottle of powdered cinnamon shake it or no back to this one I would cut this with a razor blade right about here and you see right about you see this leaf I cut that, then the new little shoot will probably most likely want to grow again and come back out of there. Like this one came back. Pick that off. Back to this. I'd cut this off with the razor blade. Kind of skin it some with the blade. The razor. Give it an edge to it and open it up to the powdered cinnamon. Let that get into the plant matter of the side here. <clears throat> and yeah, you can use cinnamon to root to make clones, people. 420, cheers. Fuck. Stay trendy.